first try. Hey guys, so today I read the news and I saw an article about Obama's new book. It was in the New York Times. They were just basically announcing um, Obama's new memoir called Promised Land. I read the advance that him and Michelle Obama got for their memoirs and it just blew my mind. $65 million. Holy, holy. That's it. And then as I read more, um, it just continued to blow me away. Um, it says here that for his first book, Dreams from My Father, which I'll be talking about in a bit, his advance was $40,000. That has to be the single biggest arc in the history of publishing, Mr. Osno said, of the journey from a $40,000 book deal to a $65 million one. I just wanted to talk talk about that for a little bit because I think that's huge. I mean, we all know Barack Obama as, you know, the 44th president the United States, you know, agree or disagree with his politics. I think he's a remarkable person. He's one of the most brilliant orators that I've ever seen. He's eloquent. He knows how to use the big words that he uses. He's smart. He's funny. He's a brilliant writer, which we'll get into when I'm reviewing his book. I'm just looking forward to it. That hefty paycheck of $65 million is hefty. It puts that much pressure on his book to succeed, which I think it will because um, Michelle Obama's Becoming sold like 8 million copies in the first two years that it came out. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be looking forward to Obama's copy, Obama's memoir coming out. They said that they're looking at somewhere somewhere between 2 to 3 million copies to be shipped around the time that his book comes out. I mean, if you're a publishing house, that's huge right there. Coming to his book, um, Barack Obama's Dreams from My Father. I wanted to review this because we th I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about him as a writer. Dreams of My Father, I picked it up a couple of years ago uh, from a used book stall. I didn't think anything of it. It was published in 1995, so this is way before his presidential race or his aspirations to become the president of the US ever came through. So this is like the rawest, most um, vulnerable uh, Obama that we're gonna get. Just the first thing that captivated captivated me immediately was just his writing style. It's so poignant. It's like he's, he's a born writer. He knows how to use uh, metaphors and narrative uh, techniques to elevate his story. You could see that when he's just going back down memory lane, talking about his time in Indonesia or in Hawaii, and especially when he's discussing his father. It was sad and dark and at times quite grim, even though now that we know how this that story ends, it's... It's interesting to look at uh, evolving Barack Obama, fighting through social justice issues, fighting through uh, racial issues, coming up from the south side of Chicago, which is supposed to be this like really violent and underdeveloped neighborhood. Just seeing his rise through all that, you know, it's inspiring to say the least. And uh, Barack does a really good job of really making you sh making sure that you're in his footsteps and you're along with the journey the more i praise his writing the less like i'm this is what one of the biggest reasons i'm looking forward to his new memoir promised land it's because i read this and this this opened me up to a different barack obama not the one not the politician not the um, you know the one who's in washington always looking to rally up foes this is a raw broken man that's trying to find his way and i think there's something relatable and something powerful in that and i highly recommend anybody who wants to know a little bit more about brock to check this one out before promised land comes out that's all from my side nazar out and i'll see you in the next one that was bad